from the Mercy One Studio. Talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder is underwritten by Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, a licensed representative of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa, cindyschulte.com, and Fred Haas. Over 30 years helping injured Iowans recover losses from accidents and work-related injuries. Fred Double D, Haas Double A. Well, good morning and welcome to Catholic Women Now. I'm Julie Nelson. Good morning. I'm Chris Magruder. And it's a great day. It was wonderful. I'm so excited about our guest today, Chris. we got to tell him right away about our guests. We have Dan Demite and Sam Halligan here, and we're going to be talking about the charism and healing, which is just fascinating. And so everybody, you want to stay tuned and stay with us today because it's going to be a great conversation. And especially if you need healing, and it doesn't just have to be physical healing, right? Mm-hmm. It can be spiritual, we, emotional we need, healing. Right. We can yep. be healed in so many ways. So we're excited to have him. Dan was just in town a few weeks ago doing a mission at St. Francis. So many, some of you might have heard him out there. And lots Sam, of energy. And Sam was with him. So, yeah, <laughs> lots of energy. So so here we're going to maybe do a little follow-up and go into a little more depth about healing yeah. and stuff. So well, let's start with prayer. Sure. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We've got some exciting things coming up. John, Father John Ricardo will be coming it's here. It's getting close. Ex- it's Extraordinary getting close. News, December 7th. Oop Feed him and Iowa Catholic Radio sponsoring him. And it's going. It's selling tickets. You've got to get your tickets. Go to Iowa Catholic Radio. They're going fast. And get a, get, lot of, get a lot of your friends and family. Yep. We, invite, yes, yes. yes We're getting your close. Friends. So we really we want to fill the place. So yeah. it's bring Father your John Ricardo. Family. He's call, like, right. And call, you know, those people from out of town. Get them into town. It'll invite be a fun your, little event. But invite your non-Catholic friends, too. Too. I mean, we're, we've got a couple friends we're inviting and we oh. bought tickets for. So look at you evangelize, Jules. Well, Good yeah. job. We're all called to do that, Chris. <laughs> Good for you. So. Good yeah, for you. So, yeah. So go to Iowa Catholic Radio and get your tickets today. Yes, to get yes that. absolutely. So. And we just have to tell everybody the Iowa Catholic Radio um, has got this great music station. So you can go online and you can listen to Iowa Catholic Radio music as well. Our friend Jimmy Olson has put together a great lineup of music. I was listening to it the other the day. It's, it's just good. really fun. It's it is. good. It's, it's a good. Lot of, Makes me dance as I'm getting ready for work. Lot, there's a lot of praise and worship music mixed mm-hmm. in, and I love that. Yep. And um, I just, I, I stream it on my bows and listen to it. it Doesn't it change radio. your mood? Oh, absolutely. It changes my yeah. mood when it, I listen to it. Shifts it shifts the atmosphere it in my does. house. Amen. It really does. It brings in the good Holy Spirit yes, it does. feelings and, and true mm-hmm. good spirits. You know what I arrive. do sometimes? Okay, I'm going to admit this on the air. <laughs> I let, I leave it playing when I leave the house. I let the music continue to play in the house. So when I come home and oh, good walk in you. and I hear that music, it's great. Oh, yeah. So Keep that atmosphere you're, going. You're in the jamming right and, and your dog's loving it, I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah, he's probably home. Uh, but, well, yeah, before okay. we bring in Dan, we want to say thank you, Cindy Schulte of Farm Bureau Financial Services, for underwriting our show, Catholic Women Now. Cindy's an authorized independent agent, and she and her team provide health insurance options from Wellmark Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa. She does a great job of helping people out with um, making decisions regarding their health insurance. If you want to find somebody like Cindy who's really good at this, you can find her on the web at cindyschulte.com. Or you can call her at 515-226-2111. All right. Well, so in the studio joining us today is Dan Demite and Sam Halligan. Welcome, fellas, to the Hello. show. Hello. Great to be here. Oh, we're glad. We're so excited that you are here today. We just we met you a few weeks ago at the mission at St. Francis here in West Des Moines. So, and we thought, well, gosh, we've got to have you on the show. We've got to have you on the show. So here we are. Praise lot, the Lord. We're yeah, so excited to be here. We had a lot of um, positive comments about you guys being there and it, you know you could just feel in the atmosphere um it was very reverent yet joyful a lot of times we don't um you know we we don't see those two coming together but boy there was a lot of joy and then there was a lot of reverence people mm-hmm. understood that the lord was truly present it was it was awesome yeah, really I awesome the, I, thanks for saying that because actually one of our uh, mottos for our ministry is that there's no dichotomy between reverence and joy Ooh, and so oh, we hey. just have this uh, uh, a passion like i think sometimes we think like we have to go to mass and if it's pious that it's somehow like not reverent and it's like no you can actually be reverent and joyful at the same time i think heaven is probably the perfection of reverence and the perfection of joy all at once and they're not in at war with each other i love that i love that 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 was the holy spirit thing that came out of my mouth and that's good 
Well, anyway, so today we thought it would be fun to talk a little bit about healing. I know that's something that a lot of people don't really have a lot of understanding of or maybe even believe that that can even happen today. So I um, let's maybe we just start with the whole idea of healing in general and how, how does Jesus heal today like he did 2,000 years ago? You know, that's a big question. Yeah, that's an amazing question. You know, I think it's so funny because we as Catholics, we believe in miracles so readily. Like we've got these incredible places of like healing like uh, Lourdes and Fatima. And like we've got this like this massive amount of faith a lot of time as Catholics that um, and, and the miraculous power of God and that we can uh, and then we have to if we take a pilgrimage across the world, the Lord's, then, then there's this faith that I can be healed. And I wonder if God really loves us. Is, is he going to limit healing only to one geographic location? <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, I'll heal today, but only if you like fly to France. Like, you know what? That's true. true. When I was young, when I was hearing about Medjugorje, I remember thinking, well, if there is anybody that gets seriously sick in my family, I'm going to fly him to that. Exactly. Place. Yeah. You know? it's like, and it's, only this place right. is God going to heal the sick. <laughs> right, right. Well, so gosh. I think we as Catholics, we all believe that and that Jesus still heals the sick today. I don't know if we believe that Jesus wants to heal the sick everywhere and all the time, right? Mm-hmm. That, that Jesus actually has a hunger to uh, renew the signs, renew the wonders, uh, and, and to allow a new Pentecost to erupt in the church mm-hmm. today, not just in certain geographic locations, but all over. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I just think it's amazing, too, when you think about uh, healing, to think about Jesus's character and to think about Jesus's nature, right? When, when you look at Jesus in the Gospels, he never encounters uh, he never encounters sickness or disease as a good to be embraced, but rather like an evil to be overcome, right? So he sees sin and death, and it's like those death and disease are like actually the effects of original sin in the world. And so when he meets those things, he actually comes with his healing power and reverses the effects of original sin in the world, which I just think is so amazing because if Jesus did it then, then he wants to do it now. And he doesn't want to just do it uh, through his omnipotence in heaven, but he wants to do it through his followers. Amen to that. I know. That that. that is a good point that it's about sin because I think sometimes people don't understand that, that, you know, sin entered the world and caused a lot of upheaval. Mm -hmm. And and, and illness is one of those. But let's be clear, just because we're all sinners. And just because we do one sin or the other doesn't mean we're more likely to get sick. You're not no. saying that. No, I don't no, get no, cancer no. because I sinned, right? right That's not, right. but, but the wages of sin, as scripture says, are death and everything that comes from like everything that comes from death, the spirit of death is a result of sin in the world. Mm-hmm. Right. And so mm-hmm. all injury and pain and hurt and suffering, that's all a result of sin. And that's what Jesus Christ came to overcome. And mm-hmm. so if I believe that Jesus Christ rose from the dead and he gave us authority um, over sin and darkness, then I can believe that Jesus Christ still wants to conquer the realm of sin and darkness in the world today. Right? So he gave you authority, Dan Demetri, or did he give it to me too? He to gave us it? all authority, right? Scripture says that the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead dwells in you, right? Like that we have the same spirit that rose Jesus from the dead inside of us through the mm-hmm. power of uh, baptism. And mm-hmm. so because the the Holy Spirit is alive in me when when the, the Spirit of God hovered over the tomb and raised Jesus from the dead and conquered sin and death. Jesus said, I love you so much that I'm going to give you that same Spirit, and He's going to mm-hmm. live in you, and I, I'm going to give you the authority over unclean spirits, the authority over death and sin and darkness. And mm-hmm. and we receive it at baptism, right? We're anointed priest, prophet, and king. Mm-hmm. And as a king is one who has authority. So mm-hmm. if I'm anointed as a king... I, I share in Jesus's anointing as the king of all kings. And what's his authority? His authority is over the the, uh, the kingdom of darkness, mm-hmm. right? And so that's I receive authority over uh, the kingdom of darkness and mm-hmm. uh, over death and disease. And, mm-hmm. um, and it's a huge honor. <laughs> and- well, we're going to have to take a real quick break here. But when we come back, we're going to pick up on that thought a little bit more about he's given everybody the authority through the Holy Spirit. So we'll be right back. This is Catholic Women Now. We are grateful for your prayer and financial support of Iowa Catholic Radio. Hi, this is Tony Calumet. Would you consider a year-end tax-deductible gift? You have until December 31st for your gift to be used on your 2019 tax return. You can give online at iowacatholicradio.com, through the Iowa Catholic Radio app, or call 515-223-1150. Thank you for supporting Iowa Catholic Radio and from the staff. Merry Christmas from Iowa Catholic Radio. 
Thank you to Confluence Brewing Company for underwriting Christ is the Answer with Father Ricardo, heard Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Confluence Brewing Company is a local brewery in Des Moines featuring seasonal and limited release beers. They have cans and growlers to go, apparel, and other gifts for family and friends. Live music is featured in the tap room. Confluence Brewing Company is located off the bike trail south of Grays Lake. Thank you to Confluence Brewing Company for your support of Iowa Catholic Radio on the web at confluencebrewing.com. That's confluencebrewing.com. Vitae Family Care is part of the Iowa Catholic Radio family. Pro-life physician Greg McKernan, a DO, has practiced for 27 years seeing patients of all ages with just about every kind of need. Dr. McKernan lives his faith as a physician and is trained in NAPRO technology, allowing him to diagnose and treat many female conditions and even markedly reduce the occurrence of a miscarriage. VitaeFamilyCare.com Remember, Vitae is Latin for life. Support for Dowling Catholic Sports 365 is provided in part by Ashworth Vision Clinic with two licensed optometrists, Barbara Sheets, a Dowling Catholic graduate, and Dr. Todd Pedig. The Ashworth Vision Clinic team provides complete eye exams, contact lenses, glasses, glaucoma testing, and pre- and post-operative care. Ashworth Vision Clinic is located at Ashworth and 60th Street in West Des Moines, 515-440-4610, online at ashworthvision.com. Catholic Women Now on Iowa Catholic Radio, and we're talking with Dan Demite and Sam Halligan on Charism of Healing. And right before we went to break, we had, Dan had just brought up the, the point that we all receive the Holy Spirit in our baptism, and therefore we have that authority. Authority It's not just certain people. And Sam, you had a great thought that you wanted to add to that. Yeah, just kind of as as Chris was sharing that, uh, is it is it like just Dan, or is it just like whoever? Is it only the saints Special of old? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it only the <laughs> holy? And uh, I think God just wants to really just like identify that as a lie because, I mean, Jesus says in Scripture in John chapter 14, verse 12, he says, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and greater ones than these because I'm going to the Father. And he didn't say, you know, my successors, the bishops and like the holy saints that will come after me will do these works. He says, whoever believes. And I'm like, well, I'm a believer. And like, Julie, you're a believer, and Chris, you're a believer, and Dan, you're a believer, and you listening on the radio, you're a believer. And so what that means is whoever believes, meaning you, can do the same works of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And those works of Jesus are to heal the sick, to raise the dead, to bring conversion, to speak life, to, to help bring conversion wherever you're at. And so whatever Jesus did... Like you're incorporated into Jesus. So your identity is actually to be Jesus to the world. And the world will only know Jesus when you're living as your identity, as Jesus. Amen to that. I always think it's funny because people are like, I thought only the saints could heal. It's like, oh, wait, so I had to die and then be canonized before I can heal someone, right? It's like, <laughs> no, we are the saints. We're the communion of saints. Yes. And uh, and, and we're, we're like, you know, St. Paul refers to us constantly as the holy ones, the saints, right? And the, like we are the saints and, and we're bringing the gift of the Holy Spirit into the mm-hmm. world. Wow. Well, you know, and, and as I'm listening to you talk, it's like, okay, I want to sign up. How do I do this? Mm-hmm. How, you know, how do I, how do I, I want to be part of this. This is exciting. Yeah. And, and I want to be able to do it all the time. Yeah. But what I do know about the gift of healing is sometimes the Lord chooses to work through your hands and he does. And sometimes he doesn't mm-hmm. because it's, mm-hmm. it's his will, not ours. It's yeah. his right. work. It's right. not ours. Right. Yeah, it's his, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. I love that. I think, I, I think it's a matter of knowing like what's my role and what's God's role, right? Mm-hmm. Like my role is to pray for someone to be healed and his role is to do the healing. And so I'm not the healer. He's the only healer. It's just that his healing grace uh, can, can work through me, right? That in Matthew, I mean, Mark 16, uh, Jesus, he says, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe, right? Do you guys believe? Amen. Yes. Yes. Okay, so these yeah. are the signs that accompany believers, right? In my name, they will drive out demons and speak new languages. They will lay their hands on the sick, and they will recover. So Jesus gives us a, a commission, a command to go out and to heal the sick, that if that we would lay hands on those who are sick, and they would recover. And I think just this understanding that 
I, it's not my job to be God. It's my job to be obedient to what Jesus has asked us to do. And Jesus has asked his followers, his believers, to lay hands on the sick. And it's his job to bring the healing. And I just, I love that because I used to have this performance mentality where I was so scared, like, oh my goodness, like, what if I pray for someone for healing yeah. and they don't get healed? Like, uh-huh. then I let them down or I mm. messed up or I'm not worthy enough. And it's so much more freeing when you're like, no, I'm not the healer. Like, mm. I'm simply the one who is obedient. I'm, I'm an obedient son to my master. And mm-hmm. he's asked me to lay hands on the sick and to pray for them. Mm-hmm. And sometimes, and you don't know yeah. how they might be healed differently. It might not be that physical healing, but there might be some other spiritual healing. Mm-hmm. You don't know where that and it is. Yeah. Some yeah. Healing doesn't necessarily happen right away either. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah, we've seen a lot of people. I think that uh, like we've prayed over, and then they leave, and they are healed later, right? Yeah. And mm-hmm. I think there's so much power in that. But but you had to ask first. Yeah, yeah. You had to ask. Yeah. First. So what are some of the impediments to healing? Mm-hmm. I think uh, whether it's the person who's receiving prayer or the person who's praying, like for me, I remember when I first started to begin to pray for healing, one of my biggest impediments for me personally was like presumption, right? Like I think kind of just like, am I presuming God's will here by saying like, oh, can I pray for you for healing and, and, or even pride? Like sometimes it's like, oh, aren't you going to be prideful if you like begin to see healing uh, happen? Like won't you think it's from your hands? And I think in my own experience, like those two are, I think the biggest on the part of the like prayer, like either presuming God's will or having pride. And I'm like, if anything, I feel like I've been more humiliated, like (laughs) humbled by praying for healing than I have like received pride. And even, I mean, pride's not a fruit of the spirit anyway. So like, it's not, I, I just haven't seen in my own experience like that come about. But I think oftentimes it comes about through this place of like overcoming your own pride of not wanting to go out and, and step out in faith, if that makes sense. Like kind of a false humility. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think too, I've seen a lot of Catholics were afraid to ask for healing for ourselves. And so, I mean, I just know at, even I, I'll approach people a lot and they'll say, well, I've never asked for this because I feel like I, um, there's other people with bigger needs out there, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm a dad and I have four children and I love every single one of my children. And if one is like sick and the other one is like sicker, it's not like I only want the sicker person <laughs> to be healed. Yeah, true. Like, yeah. As a yeah. father loves all of his children equally and desires all of the children uh, to thrive abundantly. And so I think we need to ask. Uh, the first miracle I ever like or physical. I think I think about well, you know what? She needs it worse than I do. So let's let God give his power over there. Oh, yeah, definitely. Exactly. Like as if God is limited in his amount of grace mm-hmm. that he right. can pour out. So like if I ask for it, this person over here is not going to get it, right? right. And like we're telling God what to do, exactly. right? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> and and it's, it's interesting because, I, I mean, the, the Father disperses his graces freely however he chooses. And so he may choose uh, freely to heal someone who has a lesser impediment than another person, you know? Like, and so, but that's not for us to choose. My My, my first miracle I saw... Um, through prayers of healing was I was I was learning about healing hearing about like the we can pray for the sick and they would recover and so I was uh I was on my motorcycle and I saw this uh this guy on the side of the street he was a biker with another uh, he had his motorcycle out so we just started having a conversation and on the side of his bike it said uh victory and it was a victory bike and over it he wrote the words Jesus Christ brings and I was like oh so you're a Christian you believe Jesus Christ brings victory he's like oh I love Jesus like I'm so passionate (laughs) about the Lord. And he just goes on about how much he loves Jesus and that we further the conversation. And he had had gotten in a um, really bad uh, truck accident. He was a trucker and he had this huge accident. And he said, you know, I've had pain uh, through the entire left side of my body for like 20 years now. And I just have have experienced just a lot of brokenness and that my church really has helped me get through that. And I was like, well, have you ever asked Jesus to take that pain away? He's like, no, why would, like, why would I ask Jesus to take this pain away? I'm just supposed to carry my cross and, and like offer this pain up. And I'm like, well, but have you ever asked for him to take it away? Like, have you even like, and, and Jesus says, ask and you shall receive, you know? And so why don't we ask? And for the first time ever, for after 20 years, he asked for healing. We prayed wow. over him. And as we're praying, he's like, I was like, what are you experiencing? He's like, I got, I, like, I feel this heat going through my shoulder. And, and I was like, that's amazing. That's probably the Holy Spirit. And I was like, so let's just pray for more of that. And, uh, and when we were done with the prayer, I asked him to test it out, and he was able to lift his shoulder all the way up oh, above his head. He had oh never been gosh. able to, and all the pain was gone on the left side of his body. And it's like, I think that maybe the Lord wanted to heal him a lot earlier, but yeah. he had never asked. asked. And, yeah. and I wonder if, like, one of the impediments of healing may be that the church has stopped asking, Yeah, you know? Yeah. And, uh, and, and so. Well, on that note, we're going to take a quick break, Dan, and we'll be back with Catholic Women Now in just a minute. 
Why do folks give to the Catholic tuition organization? Probably because they love Catholic schools, right? Partially, but they also like the tax benefits, or they were helped when their kids were in school, or they have been blessed and want to bless others. Whatever the reason, the 65% tax credits are great, and after all, it's for the kids and their future. Online, ctoiowa.org. Vitae Family Care is part of the Iowa Catholic Radio family. Pro-life physician Greg McKernan, a DO, has practiced for 27 years seeing patients of all ages with just about every kind of need. Dr. McKernan lives his faith as a physician and is trained in NAPRO technology, allowing him to diagnose and treat many female conditions and even markedly reduce the occurrence of a miscarriage. VitaeFamilyCare.com Remember, Vitae is Latin for life. Support for Dowling Catholic Sports 365 is provided in part by Ashworth Vision Clinic with two licensed optometrists, Barbara Sheets, a Dowling Catholic graduate, and Dr. Todd Pedig. The Ashworth Vision Clinic team provides complete eye exams, contact lenses, glasses, glaucoma testing, and pre- and post-operative care. Ashworth Vision Clinic is located at Ashworth and 60th Street in West Des Moines, 515-440-4610, online at ashworthvision.com. Thank you, r r Realty Group, for supporting Dowling Catholic Sports 365. r r Realty Group is an Iowa commercial real estate owner and developer that provides services for all commercial real estate needs, including brokerage, interior space planning, real estate management, construction, and more. r r Realty Group has been accommodating business expansions and real estate solutions since 1985, solving commercial real estate needs. r r Realty Group, establishing long-term relationships built on trust. Well, welcome back to Catholic Women Now. We're speaking with Sam Halligan and Dan Demite on the Charism of Healing. And right before our break, Dan, you had shared this amazing story about the truck driver who had never asked for healing, that asked for healing, and he had some physical healing. So these kind of stories build our faith, right? Mm-hmm. And they just really bring it out. So could you guys have some more stories you could share a little bit here for our listeners as we end close up the show today? Yeah, absolutely, Julie. Um, and Dan and I are just so blessed to be a part of the ministry of Damascus where we just see uh, so many youth come to an encounter with Jesus, not only spiritually, but also physically. And so there's been countless stories of being uh, at summer camp and at Damascus and just seeing uh, youth before uh, our Lord in the Eucharist and being becoming like physically healed. And so there's a story this summer of a, a young girl who had uh, actually torn her ACL in, in her volleyball season this, the year before. And she wasn't going to be able to walk without crutches, was to have uh, reconstructive ACL surgery. And in the presence of our Lord in the Eucharist, her knee was completely healed. And she was able to testify before 1,200 people on our Friday closing Mass about the power of Jesus, uh, how he wow. healed her wow. there. I, wow. I bet those kids just went wild. Yeah. Oh, there, there was a lot of noise that day. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It was really amazing. Wow. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Tell us more. Yeah. Yeah. We, well, we had another um, camper. He, he um, and I think this is so cool because it's not always about a person praying over a person. It's just about creating a culture of faith. And so she was healed. Ellie was healed and just in front of the Blessed Sacrament during Eucharistic Adoration. And this one camper, he, he had seen some of the campers getting healed at camp. He goes uh, back and he's laying in bed. He's like, Jesus, why haven't like you, like, why haven't I encountered you yet? My friends are encountering you. Why haven't I? And the Holy Spirit fell upon him, like, as he's in bed at night, like, crying out, like, I want to encounter you. And he felt this heat go through his neck and uh, some uh, neck pain that he had had for uh, a long time in his life was uh, completely gone and healed. So he shares this story right before the closing Mass, and there's a mom in the audience who like was like listening to it was like that doesn't make sense I don't know if I believe that and uh, so mass starts and during mass at the offertory this mom feels this this heat come upon her and she's like oh my gosh that must be like what the boy testified to it must be the Holy <laughs> Spirit and uh, and she had uh, woken up that morning she wasn't able to uh, turn her head like beyond halfway and she's like okay Lord I believe this is you and then right there she like had full mobility restored in her oh, neck right. in Jesus' wow. name which is I just think so cool that wow. the testimony of a middle schooler actually increased the faith of a mother, uh, a a different mother, you know, and then she was later healed. Wow. And and just one thing you just kind of threw in there off to the side was in Jesus name. It's always in Jesus name because it's him who does the healing. It's he who does the healing. I just love that. It's just like reading the Acts 
of apostles just listening yeah. to that. You know, they just mm-hmm. went, you know, from place to place to place. Exactly. And they you, just kept seeing they it. They kept going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and I was just in um, France a few weeks back and it was, we were doing a healing service in one of the cathedrals there. And there was just such a hunger and a culture of faith there. And um, we are, my, my daughter and I, my 11 year old, I took her with me. We are praying over this woman who had cancer and she had tumors um, in her pelvic region that she could physically feel and they oh. caused her pain at all times. And mm. so as we were praying for her, she just started to smile uh, and uh, because the love of the Father just was poured out on her. And she had this mm-hmm. huge smile. And then she began to weep and weep. And afterwards, I asked her, what's going on? And she said, I felt this, this fire like lasers just hit every one of the tumors. And she said, I felt them just disintegrate. And I, don't, I, I can't feel them in my body anymore. There's absolutely no pain. Uh, and cancer was healed in Jesus' name, which is pretty oh, wow. amazing. Wow. So, say amen. God okay. is and, awesome. the, and, then I, and then the other thing is the love, the love of the Father coming yeah. through that. Yeah, the most beautiful testimony, uh, I asked her, why Why were you smiling so big? She said, when I saw your daughter, Sophia, praying for me, I realized how much the Father loves me. And wow. I think that's the key to freedom and healing is to understand that we have a good God who loves us so mm. much, and he just wants to pour his love mm. out. Amen. That is just a wonderful place to stop here because we're at a break end of the show here so dan thank you so much for being here and sam thank you too for joining us and i'm going to turn it's live radio folks what can i say (laughs) our alarms are going off everywhere (laughs) all right well catholic women now is grateful for the support of fred haas law offices mr haas is an experienced personal and highly uh, uh, responsible lawyer and and with his legal services as well that's alarm threw me off (laughs) it is in times of unexpected life circumstances when you need an attorney for personal injury and mr haas is your guy fred haas.com fred double d haas double a let's close with prayer we've yeah okay um you know what dan would you take us out in prayer yeah in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit Amen. amen good and gracious god we love you and we thank you for uh just pouring out your wonders again in our world. We just pray that you would increase in it right now mm-hmm. a spirit of boldness in your people. I pray, Lord, anyone with neck uh, pain right now that they would just be mm-hmm. healed in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. I pray for heat, the fire of the Holy Spirit to fall upon them yeah. and allow them to experience just total and complete healing, Lord. Come, Holy Spirit. Lord, I just pray that you would give us as your apostles and your disciples more power and authority and more fearlessness in going mm-hmm. out and praying for your children. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, amen. The Iowa Catholic Radio Rosary is prayed at 5.30, 9.30, and 9.30 p.m., so stay tuned for that 9.30 a.m. rosary. And thank you for listening. Please consider to make a tax-deductible donation to Iowa Catholic Radio. We really appreciate it. So you can help us continue to teach, evangelize, and defend our Catholic faith. Now go do impossible things with God. Talking about the things that matter most to you. Today's Catholic Women. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder is underwritten by Fred Haas. Over 30 years helping injured Iowans recover losses from accidents and work-related injuries. Fred Double D, Haas Double A. And Farm Bureau agent Cindy Schulte, a licensed representative of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Iowa. CindySchulte.com. Catholic Women Now with Julie Nelson and Chris McGruder every Thursday at 9 a.m. and 9 p.m. On the radio voice for Catholic Women Now. 1150 AM, 88.5 FM, and 94.5 FM, and on the Iowa Catholic Radio app, Iowa Catholic Radio. Radio.